Hi, this is Anoop here and in this video we are going to see what is Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows 2.2. This is a download page where you can download the Veeam agent for Windows. As you can see in the release notes, these are the OS requirements. You can install Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows in Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, 2008 okay, and 2012. 20 2016 server 2016 operating systems and there are some software prerequisites also over here so you can see like sql server 2012 express dot net sql server 2012 management objects so these are software prerequisite for veeam agent for microsoft windows okay so i have already downloaded veeam agent for microsoft windows 2.2 over here and i'm trying to install that on this machine let's launch it so i launch veeam agent for windows 2.2 i just click on install it's installing the required components now as you can see over here still installing the required components so probably it needs to install .NET if that is not there, SQL Express 2012 and SQL Server Management Object. So these are the components which uh, we have shown in the other prerequisites. Okay, so if you can go to this, this page, you can see a 30 days trial version that is free and you can download the software version 2.20.175 from here. So let's see. It's still kind of installing the components, required components. So it started installing Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows. As I mentioned, I am installing this on Windows 1809 machine, latest OS. Let's try Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows. This is my production machine. I have SSEM lab and other labs. So let's see how it works. So it's starting the services. It's already kind of installed. Okay, services are getting started. You can see the size of the Veeam agent for Windows is 274 MP. It's still starting the services. As you can see in this picture, this is the overall architecture of uh, Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows. So Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows service is there and Veeam agent tray as well as Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Express DB. So these are the main three components of Veeam agent for microsoft windows so let's take a look at how to get started veeam's recommendation is to create a veeam recovery media as part of first process then define what data you want to back up in the backup job define what data you want to back up and configure the backup job and then specify veeam agent for microsoft windows settings monitor the backup performance so these are the first four steps uh, which uh, veeam recommend when we start using veeam agent for Microsoft Windows so let's let's check what is the status of the installation so it says if you plan to back up to an external USB drive plug in now and we'll configure the protection with the recommended settings for you you will be able to change the default configuration later so let me put in a usb hard disk external hard disk and let's see so i have connected uh, one tb external hard disk and now i'm going to configure the veeam agent for microsoft windows backup just said next okay it says it doesn't have enough capacity so let me try to change the hard disk let me connect another hard disk let's see that has the capacity or not okay it's checking the external drive and it has 1.6 tb free space okay so this should be fine i don't want to change the power plan settings for my windows 10 1809 machine so i say no so this is the first step right it will go through the recovery media creation so let's launch so this is the first step as you can see in the in the in this documentation so veeam recommend to create a veeam recovery media so let's see how to create recovery media so i'm selecting the default options this is recovery media wizard from veeam create recovery media wizard i have connected a usb drive probably i will select that as a, my recovery media i don't want to make my external hard disk 2 tb external hard disk as a recovery media so rather i will go with the usb stick 
and if it virtual mission probably iso image is the best one for the recovery this is my physical mission so that is why i will go with a usb drive let's see okay so it says it will format the usb drive i am fine with that i don't have any any data on that usb drive so i will format it if you have any data on your usb drive then you need to take a backup of that before creating a recovery media on the usb drive destination is uh, say it again says a warning usb will usb disk will be formatted okay so let's click next create okay so it started the process and it shows the progress it completed the first step that is mounting recovery environment image the second step also completed copying veeam recovery environment even the third step is completed that is adding dotnet framework now it's going through fourth step that is wireless networking support so it's adding wireless network support in win pe or boot media so it is in the fifth step now and that is adding system drivers so it completed the other three steps that is adding system drivers adding internet browser copying boot files and now unmounting recovery image so we are into the last stage of uh, recovery media creation so now it is preparing usb disk and copying data to the usb disk the last step was unmounting recovery image initially it mounted the recovery image and then it started working on it copying veeam recovery environment files the required files have been copied then dot net framework added wireless networking support files added system drivers got added into it internet browser got added copying boot files so boot files got added into the recovery image and then it started unmounting the recovery image once it's unmounted it is ready to copy so preparing usb disk to copy it and i think in preparing usb disk it is formatting that usb disk uh, the next Next and last step probably is the copying data to USB disk that is 40 percentage completed so as you can see the recovery media has been created and you can finish it that's done so we have completed the first step that is creating the recovery media I have created a recovery media for Windows 10 1809 mission so let's see what is the content of the recovery media source files you can see the source files boot beam is there boot folder contains all the details so our boot media is ready now if you want we can try to boot this device from this boot media so that was a straightforward process let's launch Vim agent for microsoft windows okay so first of all it's asking for the license if you are using it for 30 days trial period you can say no in this case i have a license so let's let's see how or how to how to install Vim agent license file let's say yes it's a free edition for the community so let's say install let's find out my license file and let's say once you once you have given the license file and uploaded the license file then you can see the other options are enabled if you have proper license uh, these these three options will get enabled so these are the three options available i can have i can use this backup for five workstations and two servers and if i click on server all features of Work, workstation edition plus full server support via application aware processing and server focused job scheduler if, if you select the server license it, it will give you more options and rich features so i will go with that so let's check the version of the veeam agent for microsoft windows it is 2.2.0589 and this is the latest update there is an option to check automatic update over here if you want you let's can disable it okay, but i'm going to media. keep it that is the best we have way have created a recovery media using veeam agent for windows what i'm going to do is i'm booting my surface book device from that recovery media As you can see, there's a light in USB and now the surface is getting boot up. USB, that is a recovery media created using Veeam agent for Windows. So now it's booted up.
you can see the options over there there are three options bare metal recovery windows recovery environment and tools if i click on tools it will give me six options command prompt reset password load driver memory diagnostics startup repair and export logs so i launched command prompt from here and let's say exit <laughs> If I go back to main menu, there is an option to restart or shut down the machine again. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please click on like button and share it. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.